That one is my favorite. It makes your eyes twinkle. Does it now? Half price if you buy two. Wow. You again. Is this your store? <laughs> no. My father's. How much? 800 rupees, please. 800 rupees? Okay, okay for you, 550. Incredible. So, does your father usually leave you here alone? No, he's away fighting the devils. Well, the Indian Army called him up, did they? No, he volunteered. Really? Well, if it was my choice, I wouldn't leave you here alone. All right. That's 300. Bet the deal. 400 rupees plus Ganesh. <laughs> you don't want this. It's broken. See? You don't know the story? Ganesh fought Parashuram while standing guard at his father's yes, door. Yes, to defend the honor of his father, Shiva, and got his tusk hacked off for his troubles. Hmm, interesting. Anyway, it's not for sale. <sighs> right on time. Okay, look, 600 rupees. You can keep the change. Hey, wait! You need a guy. Oh? And what'll that cost me? Don't get me wrong, decent technique on the lift, but I'd like my Ganesh back, please. Fine. <laughs> A for effort, kid. without removing your shoes. I know. I just wanted to look at the mandapam. <sighs> Too many soldiers. Shit. Wait a minute. 
You're not a tourist, are you? Looks okay to Hello, lady. Thank Great you prices. Me. Thank you. We're busy here. Oh, I've already got what I need. Thanks. Do you work for CIA? Because that would be very cool. People aren't allowed across the bridge. It's too dangerous. Listen, kid. It's been really fun. You need to make yourself scarce. I have a spare bed in the store. 300 rupees. Best deal in all of India. Oh. Okay, no thanks. I need to get on this truck. Bad idea. The rebels, they hurt people. Listen, I need to help my friend, okay? Tell you what, when I get back, pizza's on me. Deal? Deal. Hey, hold on. What's your rush? How do I know you're not smuggling something in here? Arms up. Hey. It's dangerous to be out so late. Hey! Where do you live? What are you, deaf? Answer him! I said, where do you live? Arabta zone. I'm in the middle of something. 
Uh, yes, sir. Meet me inside. Understood. You, with me. Man the gun. Sir, what about her? Just let her through. You heard him. Get going. Lucky for them, I've got somewhere to be. Red door. Check. Shift ends in an hour. I need sleep. You can sleep in the truck. No, thank you. Is that the last of them? Almost. There's a couple more in the alley. <sighs> Moving out tonight. Can't wait. I'm tired of these people. No. Okay. Sal says one week. Another week in this shithole. Remember the end goal, brother. I still have that bottle of coconut around. I might. What is it worth to you? My eternal gratitude. Not good enough. Where the hell did you get a bottle of Iraq anyway? Down the street from here. This one guy had a large collection. Think there's any luck? I only took two bottles. Going over later. Pink Lotus. The hell does that mean? Since he was chasing down small trinkets all over India. Join the main. Tired of these small operations. When do we take the fight to the tyrants? Government thinks we're a joke. They won't think that for much longer. Been here 
for weeks. When do we move on? Lotus. Not what I was picturing. It was at least two targets. One was the warehouse, the other... <sighs> You're in the wrong place, girl. Relax. You'll live longer. Relax? It took me weeks to track down Asov. The man's as unpredictable as they come. He's just another warmonger with no war to fight. No, you don't know him like I do. He changes location and routines by the hour. We'd be foolish to take unnecessary risks. We? Let's get one thing straight. This is my gig. You want your share? We play by my rules. What's it gonna be? He's the one with the beard. That's the spirit. Mm. Handsome. If you're into psychopaths. Nobody's perfect. Where's base camp? Top floor, balcony. All right. Had a street route all planned out, but they'll be looking for us now. What do you suggest? I'll think of something. Give you a boost up. <sighs> there you go. Thank you. Follow me. That wasn't so bad. Now what? Patience. Up here. Really? Really. Still on this one. You sure this is safe? No. Way. You realize we're moving away from a soft den? Yeah, we're taking the long way. And I'll see why you're always late. Yeah. 
first one. I'll take him off. I got Coco 1 to Coco 5, over. Received Cobra 1. Get to the thing closer. We have activity, over. Copy that, Cobra 1. Shit. To now. Up. Okay. That's where we need to be, but not getting through here without a blowtorch. So, now we improvise. I thought that's what we were doing already. Just exploring our options. Sit tight. Well, she certainly lives up to her reputation. We avoid crates from now on. Okay, good deal. Up ahead. <laughs> Shit. There's some cheap office supplies if you want them. You were always this talkative on the job. Yeah. One less problem. It's just above us. See, it wasn't so bad. It wasn't. Just take a moment. <clears throat> There's one. <coughs> oh, that works. Let's find that disc. Thank you very much. Watch our backs, yeah? Yeah. through an antique shop. He's been a busy boy. How much do you think it's all worth? 
Enough to keep his little insurrection going for quite some time. Ah, Lakshmi. Goddess of wealth. It doesn't bother you. These are all Indian artifacts. It's not my fight. Hmm. Ivory trader too. Asshole. I'll just borrow this. Fraser, mm -hmm. come here. That looks promising. It's locked. Not for long. What was that map? Western Ghats, Wesselar territory. Shit. No, it's all right. Nothing we didn't already know. <laughs> Nadine Ross. What a pleasant surprise. Ah, ah, careful, brothers. This tiger's got claws. A soft. Oh, all these years. And you haven't aged a day. You're too kind. <laughs> Are you looking for work? I hear that shoreline's under new management. Temporary setback. Nothing I can't handle. Of course, of course. Pity, though. My men and I could use someone of your caliber. Why are you here? I mean, this... This isn't your area of expertise. It, it is a nice collection, I must say. Chloe Fraser, collector of antiquities. A thief? You're working for a thief. Sir, we have a situation. <gasps> what? I'll be right there. The disc. Oh, right. About that. At first, I mistook you for just an average rebel. Oh. But you have managed to find the Hoysala Empire. That's not bad. Their greatest treasure. The Tusk of Ganesh. Now that's not an easy find. What are you doing? Three Persian invasions. Three separate wars, and all these years later, no one has found it. We're close. You're lost. And the only chance you have of even narrowing down its location is to find someone who can help you crack this artifact. Someone with an extensive knowledge of Hoysala society. Exactly. Mm. An expert in their culture and history. My rates are reasonable. A parasite who exploits our struggle in order to fatten her pockets. Hmm. So that's a no? Felt like a no. <laughs> You've got balls. I like that. But I don't need any more so-called experts. Shoot them. Throw their bodies in the river. No need. We'll throw ourselves out. After them! Come on! We need to get across the river!
Messy but effective. You were going to sell me out, weren't you? It's called improvisation. God, who's being unprofessional now? What the hell is that supposed to mean? It means you let Asav get the jump on us. I'm starting to wonder whether you're worth the 50%. I knew it. You were going to give me up. This Olympic can't change her spots. You know nothing about me. Fair warning. Last person who betrayed me wound up dead. There's your river. Yeah? And your guy better be there. Shit! Yeah, well, time to go! going out there. On schedule. Should hit land in about an hour. Great. The Tusk of Ganesh. No wonder the whole solar capital was ransacked. Look at this thing. Any luck? I don't need luck. I'd say we can use all the luck we can get. Are you still hung up on Asav's so-called expert? Don't worry. If Asav's not in the gets already, he'll be right on our heels. Plus, he's got weapons, transports, hundreds of men. Like I said, don't worry. <gasps> Looks like some kind of key. Maybe. Let's see. Okay. The trident was Ganesha's weapon. The bow and arrow was Parashuramas, and the axe was a gift from Shiva. The great battle. What? The battle in which Ganesh lost his tusk. I bet we find these symbols. We find the tusk. Not bad, Fraser. Yeah, well. You like my dad for that. Hindu myths were his thing. Might have rubbed off. We must be proud. <laughs> Sun's almost up. I'll go get ready. Nice work. Nearly 
there. This is a long way to go to settle an argument. Just for my peace of mind, all right? <laughs> well, nice view. And look. How weird. I'm sorry I doubted you, Chloe. Is her cellar? Hoi cellar. It's not a modern structure, so we're definitely on the right track. What? I don't like it. You don't like anything? No. We've gone nearly a hundred kilometers with no sign of a sov. Glass half full, maybe we got the jump on them. Unlikely. I'll find the tusk. A salve's on you. Understood. Meet you back at the car. Yep. Ah, right where I left it. Amazing landscape. Your hands. I'm good, actually. Okay. Want me to drop? Nope. I don't mind. I do. It's a control thing. Sure. <sighs> Let's just enjoy the serenity, shall we? Got a dumb question. So much for that. How do you know the tusk is still there? It would have turned up in a museum or something by now, right? Plus, I haven't seen any Hoy Salar exhibitions. I've never even heard of the Hoy Salar before this job. Yeah, well, that's the fault of their last king, really. Young, reckless, flaunted his empire's wealth, built a new capital in the house of us, and then led the Persians right to their doorstep. Hey, look! Flamingo Convention! from the city? Quieter. You come back here often? No. Not really. What the heck? Go down. Oh, look at this. Hoysala ruins. Can we get through that gate? I'll check it out. The old capitals. What have we got? Halabadu and Balur. I thought these were Ganesh and Shiva. Hmm, someone's been paying attention. Ganesh was the guardian of Halabadu, the newer of the Hoysala capitals. Shiva was the guardian of the former capital, Balor. Well, the stonework is beautiful. But this isn't much of a defensive wall. Hmm. Sculptor's quarters, by the look of it. We're still on the outskirts. Didn't take you for an archaeologist. That would be my dad, actually. I'm just a thief, remember? Hey. Is the rental equipped with a winch? Looks that way. Oh, great. I'll make short work of these gates. 
What, you're just going to pull them down? That's the plan, unless you bought dynamite. This is your gig. Take that as a no. Right. That should do the trick. Fraser, move! It's an ambush! Shit! Take cover! Thanks for the heads up! We're clear. Right. Where were we? You were about to pull down an ancient gate. Yeah, I was. Well, there we go. You're awfully quiet. I'm just surprised is all. Figured you'd be more of a leave no trace type when it comes to Indian runes. Sentimentality in this line of work? Get you killed. Whoa, what? Yeah. They're just large flying rodents. Actually, no, they're not. Yeah, they are. They're closer to primates and lemurs. Okay, well, I'll look it up. There we go. Spotted? Shit. He's brought a whole battalion with him. Might even be more inside already. Hey, I'm flattered that he's taking us so seriously. We need to get through that gate. All right, we'll slow down. We gotta take care of these jokers first. You have a plan? Yeah. Sure. Like I planned. <laughs> yeah.
think I'll see a crank or something up above the gate. This looks to be it. Shotgun. I'm perfectly capable of driving, you know. I'm sure you are, honey. I just prefer to. Oh, it's a lot of ground to cover. True, but unlike your boy Asav, we've got an advantage. The three symbols. Let's have a look at the map. Okay, let's see. We are right about here. I can mark it up as we go. Check out that tower. Bet you could get the lay of the land from the top. Maybe. Okay. I'll keep an eye out for Sob. Perfect. Not that I'm too worried about him, though. You should be. We won't have the advantage of surprise again. Don't think he was expecting much from you. Wait. Was that a compliment? That, that sounded like a compliment. His guys are idiots, but a sword is... We just need to stay the hell away from him. Never understood the appeal of people like Sav. Easy. He finds men who are weak and offers them power. Gives them purpose. Purpose? Sounds more like bullshit to me. How'd you get tangled up with the Sav anyway? Purpose? Rather not go into it. He certainly seemed to have a thing for you. Don't remind me. Proved useful at the time, but... Yeah. Uh, do tell. Rather not. Maybe over drinks? Not enough alcohol in the world. Where are you going? Wanna climb it with me? I really want to, but, uh... Someone should keep watch for Asav's forces. <laughs> Up and away. So far, so good. Thank <laughs> you. 
Here's our three symbols. Well, that took less time than I expected. Let's see here. Huh. Wonder what that could be. For future reference. Ganesha's trident and behind door number two. Aimed right at those Hoysala ruins. It's an old fortress, just beyond those waterfalls. Trident mark on the map for you. Let's see what's behind the bowling. Another old fortress, sitting smack dab in the middle of the lake bed. I'll jot a bow on the map in that spot. Last but not least, the axe door. And another old fortress, tucked into the mountainside. I'll just mark that on the map, with an axe. Whoa! Guess I should have looked for a call button before climbing up. And then some. Found the three symbols. Really? Yep. Each one was pointing towards a different fortress. Those will be the best places to look. Perfect. expert. What's the Saab's strategy here? He spread out his men, hoping to stop us in our treks. Not what I would do. So what would you do if you were a Saab? Besides lose the beard, hang back, let you do the heavy lifting, then swoop in and grab up the task once you've done all the hard work. Devious. Practical. Mitigates a lot of risks. Oh, hold up. The Saab's boys are giving this place the once-over. He's nothing if not thorough. I did well.
And we were talking about... Yeah. So, anyway. Lucky you're on my team. Yeah, you was. Oh, hold on. Let's hit pause on this. Coming. Yeah. Copy that. Look up there. Parashurama's bow. Matches the symbol in the tower. So, Parashurama. Parashurama? Parashurama. Who was he again? Okay. Six avatar of the god Vishnu. A fearsome warrior. This should be the trick. There. Okay. Hard to say. A fortress? Not the right layout for a temple. Nice to be out of that shithole, finally. I was starting to think the boss was all talk. Hey, who's there? It's ah, Stop! Keep moving! You boys really don't want me shooting from down here. It can't get to me now! That's it. We're clear. Probably alluded to the others. Can't be helped. Yeah, on the mountain! Here come the others! Escaping me now. Follow me! They don't see us. Amazing, all things considered. Hey, to your right.
side is secure. Yes, it is. Let's press on. Just what I was going to say. Some kind of mechanism. Here we go. Perfect. That should do it. Fine. Ah, <laughs> oh, there you are, <laughs> having fun. <laughs> Impressive. Thanks. Come on. Well, looky here. What are you willing to bet? Told you it's some kind of key. Gold star for you. Now let's see what it does. What is it? Ancient Hoysala jigsaw puzzle? Of course, I'm making a bow. Sharama. Now what? Now I guess we turn this crank and see what happens next. You think it's safe? You know that treasure hunting is not a good gig for the risk of us, right? Neither is being a mercenary. Difference is when I pull the pin on a grenade, I know what's going to happen next. My way's much more fun. Feel that? Fraser, mm -hmm. mm. uh, look at that. Holy hell. There's a massive relief carved into the side of that mountain. And you were worried that we were going to turn that crank and die. Guess it's good I've got an archaeologist's daughter with me. It must have been fun growing up, eh? It had its moments. I learned a lot. Hoysala Empire was kind of his thing. Took up a lot of his time, though. Me, if I go. Digging for treasure, I better make a buck or two. Oh, sure. 
I don't take big risks without a good payday. I imagine so. Like running an army, huh? That's a big responsibility. Second nature. It's my father's company. He retired, I took over. Family business. Mm. Made a real mess of it. What, well, you should know. Heard you and those Drake brothers are close. Yeah, well, it's a conversation for another time. So, where to next? There's the fort above the waterfalls with the trident. And there's the fort in the mountains sporting the axe. Suppose I should have asked about the Drakes before I took the job. Not much to tell. I know Nate pretty well, Sam less so. He seemed to just appear out of thin air. Let's find a way to get back down to the car. Sounds good. Ah, this is open now. Waterfalls and mountain. Check. Ugh. Hey, just so you know, Nathan Drake is no longer in the picture. You don't have to worry about him. I had my concerns. Why do you accept my offer? I'm not one to look a gift horse in the mouth. Especially with everyone wanting to see me fall. I hear that. But on the plus side... Oh, there's a plus side? Oh, when people have low expectations, it's much easier to take them by surprise. As far as I'm concerned, this business is tough enough on your own. You have to take any advantage you can. <coughs> you always worked alone? Mostly. How old were you when you started? Young. Learned quickly enough I needed to let people think they were getting their way, and then I could get the upper hand. Too subtle for me. I always preferred the direct approach. Yeah, whatever works, I say. Solves forces. Let's get a closer look.
All clear. Let's see what we've got here. Look there, one of Asov's trucks. Looks clear out here. Once more, with gusto. Hey, look. Shiva's axe. Spotted this on the tower, too. Shiva. Who's the god of destruction? Yes, but maybe not in the way you're thinking. So not knowing the Definitely not. Salah versus the tiger. Salah won, actually. He was protecting his guru and killed the animal in one blow. It's where the name Hoi Salah comes from. Hoi, meaning strike, in their language. I mean, don't... They've left their climbing gear. They should come in handy. Correction. Our climbing gear. Nothing here. Uh, 
Keep moving. Oh my. What the hell is this? Okay, let's see what this does. <sighs> that statue moved. Well, let's see how this goes. Well, I'll be going to hell. That's elaborate. Goodness sake. Three statues with two different symbols now. A star and rings. They're all Hoysala sun symbols, but I like your description better. of an X. Good guess. Oh, this one's a bit trickier.
Shiva. Right. Let's turn the water on. Well, well. What's to say it's not different this time? What if it's fire or something? You're messing with me. I'm totally messing with you. Here we go. Mm -hmm. oh. I'm a little disappointed it wasn't fire. Another waterfall. Yeah. It's two out of three now. Marcel and I went to an absurd amount of trouble to hide the tusk. Well, the tusk was the symbol of Hoysala dominance, representing their wealth and their might. A nice trophy for the Persians. Yeah. My dad always thought that the tusk was something even greater, though. What? Your dad was after the tusk? Oh, my dad was obsessed with it. He spent every day and night researching it. All our money wasted on fruitless expeditions. Heard that one before. Ugh. So what came of it? I don't know. <laughs> well, he sent me and my mum away. He said it was no longer safe. <sighs> and off to Australia we went. <laughs> and now here I stand on the outskirts of Halibadu. That's pretty funny. And the last fort's nestled above the falls. The one with the trident. Australia. <laughs> Your accent makes sense now. Yeah. Fraser's not exactly an Indian surname either. It was my mum's. Let's head back to the car. Gotta love a shortcut. Glad we don't have to go back the way we came. I would have made you dodge the axes. Falls left. Sounds like a plan. <laughs> Makes more sense why a sword's after the tusk now. Maybe he just wanted the money, like us. He'll use it to rally people to his cause, wavered in the government's face. Just like all the other times. This has happened before? Oh yeah. Ever since the young king lost to the Persians, everyone's wanted to lay claim to it, to this land. And here I thought we were just going on a treasure hunt. We are. Let men like Asav fight over it. It's none of our concern. Fighting wars was my concern for a time. Good point. But you did it for the cash. Usually. What about when you worked for Asav? Definitely a cash grab. Hardly worth the trouble. Wait a sec. Over there, in that cliff wall. See that archway? Looks intact. You coming with? Feel like stretching my legs. Rightio. Alrighty, let's roll. <clears throat> what is this place? You got me. <laughs> well, will you look at that? Monkeys. You seem excited. I like monkeys. <clears throat> what have we here? Let's see. Is it just me, or does that look like a map? It looks like our map. 
Interesting. Some kind of Hoysala token. What about the symbols up there? Symbols? There's a slot. Just the right size for a token. Let's give it a whirl. Is there one of the spots on the map? Yeah. Wonder what happens if we find them all. Look at that bracelet. It must have belonged to one of their queens. Those figures must be the old Hoysala kings. Eleven, all in all. No hitchhikers. Shoo. Oh, you're no fun. What, you want them shitting all over the seat? <laughs> Looks safe. <laughs> Smells safe. Let's go. Right. Where were we? You were saying something about a solve. Oh. Um, right. Ouch. Why do it then? Needed to establish my rep, eh? Figured I'd start with the worst of the bunch. Nowhere to go but up after that. Here. Is this your first visit to India? Yeah. Not a lot of perks in this line of work, but travel is definitely one of them. Where have you been? Uh, where... One sec. Loud. Hmm. Ringing the bell removed one of the bars. Another crest of a Hoysala king. Someone went to a lot of trouble to hide this. Was there a quieter way to do that? No. Nah. Found anything? Found another token. Right. Pick it back up? Oh, right. Uh, where haven't I been? Whichever question works for you. Well, I haven't been to the States. Really? Yeah, well, the stuff I'm looking for is usually old, right? The US was only founded a couple of hundred years ago. True. What about you? Where do you want to go? Iceland. Nice choice. Beautiful there. Well, it's quiet. I'm spoiled. And I want to see those northern lights. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, that's on the bucket list, too. You should go when we're done here. Someday. Have other things to attend to first.
I'm just going to take a look around. Yeah, I'll keep an eye out. A little cave over there. Can't hide from me. Another token for my collection. Dov's men might be around. Check it out. It's Ganesh's trident. Man. Glad I climbed that tower, eh? Ganesh. Remover of obstacles. Not yet. I've got your back. Waiting on Cobra Let's just keep this quiet as long as we can. That's a lot of them. You all right? Fine. Just thinking of all the ways that could have gone better. See, I'm thinking about how it could have gone worse. Much more positive outlook, sort of. Okay. Let's go find our giant waterfall. <laughs> Sounds good. This looks promising. Hmm. Okay, that's not it. Ignore this. What's the trick here? What? Look like a button. Yeah, I just 
wanted you to have a go at something. What's this? That's a good sound. One of the spokes on the wheel just turned around. Huh. The locks are retracting when I turn the wheels. So then there's probably five in total. Four to go then. How about... That's two. Hey, here's another. I'll get it. Found you. <laughs> Only one left. Last but not least. That should do it. Okay. Back to the big wheel thing. Big wheel thing? Whatever the archaeological term for it is. Mm, big wheel thing works. Come on. Looks like we're going under. Radio. <laughs> There's our faucet. One trident coming up. the hell? That's not fair. It's Ganesh. Hello, sir. Come on, let's get this over and done with. Yep. I told you it was dangerous. You hurt. Just my dignity. <sighs> Here we go. Let there be water. And now that's three. You know, you're pretty good at this old treasure hunting thing. I'm a quick study. Mm. One question, though. I reckon that you could pretty much do anything you want. Why are you so keen to get Shoreline back? Seriously? Mm. My partner tends my own men against me. 
My lieutenant makes off with the bounty. Nathan and Samuel Drake get off scot-free and you're asking why I want Shoreline back. Yeah. It was on my watch. I lost it on my watch. All right, what the hell is that thing you keep playing with? It's my stress toy. It showed up in the mail a few weeks after we got to Australia. All right, we better get a move on. We don't want Asav to get ahead of us. You know, I've had my fair share of screw-ups. <laughs> you just pick yourself up and move on. I don't like to fail. No one does, no. Last one back to the car buys dinner. I brought him or You're no fun. this time. You handled yourself on. All things considered. What things are those? No real combat training. Ah. Slightly impulsive. Run around the field like a maniac. Need to learn what short control <laughs> first means. Right. I'm lost. Wearing red in a jungle combat scenario. I'm serious. <laughs> hey. If you want to look anywhere else out there, Now's the time to do it. Right. Look, for what it's worth, your kick-ass reputation has got you this job. Plus, I figured you could use the money. You're not wrong. Honestly, though, it's actually nice working with a woman for a change. Too wrong. Not many of us out here. This one arms dealer demanded to speak to the man in charge, then tried backing out when I informed him I was running the show. Uh, what did you do? Broke both his legs. Oh my god. You're not kidding. Just trying to level the playing field. Oh, don't cross Ross. <laughs> I should put that one on my business card. Can't you just walk away to be done with Shoreline? I was born in Tukes. I don't have a choice. Oh, there's always a choice. What? We've got rebels up ahead. We shouldn't stay long. All finished. The turret is set up. We are right here. We're spotted!
up in there. Hmm. This symbol. Not one of the three we're looking for, but it matches the one in that shrine we visited. I've got your brothers and sisters waiting for you. After all that, you find anything? Another fabulous token. I'm just going to take a look around. Happy hunting. Ah, another one. simple what have we got here another hoysala token for my collection
Shall we? Right behind you. Magnificent. How long do you suppose it takes to carve something like this? Years. Decades, even. The Hoi Sala certainly did have a knack for stonework. And the war, it seems. That too. They must have made these to commemorate their victories against the Persians. Looks like they put up a good fight. They did. Pity it didn't last. But their loss is our gain, right? That carving looks familiar. That carving is an exact match for the disc. So what does that mean? I don't know yet. But I'm guessing we should give that a try. Should we dance? Try not to break at this time. Sassy. Uh, mm. What the hell? You ready? Yeah. Just, um, taking it all in. <sighs> Welcome to downtown Halabadoo. The last known resting place. Task of Ganesh. Spectacular. <sighs> hmm. And what? Doesn't it look like there's a dam or something between the two Ganesh statues? Must have been eroded by the falls. So how do we get in? Look at the crown. It's not wear and tear. You're right. Maybe it was a watchtower. Bet that's how the Persians got in. I have heard about this place for so long. <laughs> I can't believe I'm actually looking at it. You should take a picture. Send it to your dad. <laughs> Great idea. What? You're one of those cultures who can't work a computer? Just take the picture. Show it to him in person then. No, it's uh, just a few decades too late for that. Look, I'm. Oh. Oh, God, please, no. It's fine. <laughs> Shall we, uh, head over to Halibadoo? <laughs> 